Okay, when I was deciding how I wanted to do this video, I went online and I looked at some other people's reviews of Magnolia Market. And I was kind of disappointed because mainly I found a bunch of vlogs where people just took you around and showed you all that and it's kind of like, it's not really what I wanted. So today I'm gonna bring to you what I was looking for. And we are gonna spill the tea on whether or not, wait, we're gonna spill the sweet tea. <laughs> on whether or not it is worth it to travel to Waco, Texas to go to the Magnolia Market. All right, so right off the bat, I could sit here and show you a ton of footage. I'll, I will insert some clips and pictures of things that we, you know, that we saw there, but there's so much of that out there. I'm sure you can get the basic idea of what it looks like there. But no one was ever showing me also what they bought. So I'm gonna show you what I actually spent money on, what I thought was worth it, and we're gonna talk about what was worth it, what wasn't. But let's start off with number one. Right off the bat, traveling to Waco, Texas. I guess it's one of those things where you have to decide what's important to you and what isn't. We went down in our RV, and what was supposed to be, we live um, outside of Kansas City, what was supposed to be about an eight and a half, nine hour trip took us 13 hours. So right there, 13 hours was a pretty long day traveling with a fifth wheel behind us. So we went down, we got stuck in a lot of traffic between Dallas and Waco, we were just stuck. It, was, it made for a really long day. We also went in the month of June. Let's talk about the time of year to go. I do not feel like the month of June is the time to go to Waco, Texas. It was hot. <laughs> it was so hot. It kind of made the trip a little miserable. So please keep that in mind if you do feel like you want to travel there that the time of year really would make a difference. I think, you know, more fall, holiday, you know, early spring would be a much better ideal time to go. I believe it was like 95 degrees and the real fill outside was 102 while we were there with massive humidity. I had big hair. So keep that in mind. Don't go in the summer. Now also, if you are planning to go on a weekend, keep in mind they are closed on Sundays. So your weekend trip might need to consist of like Friday and Saturday and not Sunday, obviously, since they're closed. So they open at 9 a.m., they close at 6 p.m. Let me give you a little tip. Definitely go shopping first thing in the morning. We got there on a Saturday, it was 9 a.m., we got there right when it opened, and as you can see here in this photo, there's not a lot of people in the background, there wasn't a lot of people there, um, I was able to freely walk around, freely see everything, and so that just made it really nice, and so, as the day progressed, by about two hours later, by 11, it was packed. And it was getting difficult to get in and out of the shops, the lines were becoming long, and it was kind of like everybody slept in Saturday morning and then they decided to come out. So, definitely early in the morning. I have also heard that going later in the afternoon is a better time to go also, but by then we had already left because it was hot. So, one of the places that they have there is called Magnolia Home, and this is where they sell their furniture. And I'm a huge fan of Joanna Gaines, and I love their products. But let's talk a little bit about the prices on the furniture. I walked in, and my daughter is redoing her living room, and they had the sofa in there that is exactly like what she was looking for online. It was I want to say almost $6,000. I'll double check. I know it was $5,000. Um, I can't remember what the ending number was off the top of my head. For just this one sofa. To me, as someone who loves to decorate and really takes it seriously, I'm not going to spend $5,000 on one sofa. And let me tell you why and give you guys a great suggestion. Are you really going to keep your same furniture your entire life? Most of us nowadays, compared to the past generation, no longer do that. We do like to update our homes, we like to change our style, we like to change our decor. So I want you to buy a good sofa. Um, I don't want you to buy, you know, a cheap one, but I want you to spend more money on accessories. Accessories is where it can make a huge difference. There have been people who spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to have their home redesigned where 
they didn't save any money for the accessories and were really disappointed with how it turned out. But that's the key. You've got to like buy decent furniture and accessorize in order to really make your home look beautiful. So my first thing right off the bat that I do not suggest is I think you're just paying $5,000 for that sofa for the name. I, I just don't think it's worth it. I, I think there's way better furniture out there where you can get just as good as quality for less. So that would be my first hit, like, like no. So I would avoid that. So let's talk about some things that I got because I want to show you guys some of the things and actually tell you the prices. Nobody was telling me the prices of the things down there. Is it comparable to her items in Target? And that kind of thing. So here, let me show you some stuff that I got. We'll start with this one. I bought these wooden vases that I saw that they had sitting there on their fireplace mantle. And they had different styles. So they had this one, and then the large one, and then it had a matching small one. So you can see the size difference. You can see, so it's kind of a small, medium, large. <laughs> I'm actually having a little bit of sticker shock now that I'm home and I'm looking at the prices. So. If you were at Target, what would you expect for this? This is nice quality though. I will say it's heavy, it's wood. It's really pretty. It matched for like what I was going for. This is $52. So I just looked at the sticker and obviously there was no sale. Um, but yeah, so 52 for this one. 42 for this one. And 38 for this one. I I think that's kind of expensive. All right, so that means that I just spent $138 on three wooden vases. <laughs> if I was at Target and I put three vases in my cart, I would die if it totaled up to $132 because I like things to look nice, but on a budget, I'm not going for the maximum amount. So there's a general idea of how much you're gonna spend on things when you go to Magnolia Market. Okay, I also bought this adorable tray with these two little glass vases on it. And let's see, so the tray, <laughs> it's a wooden tray as you can see, $20 for this. On top of the glass vases, the larger was 14 and the smaller was 10. The budget person in me is thinking, oh my goodness, you could go to Hobby Lobby and get something like this when they have their glass stuff for 50% off. So, <laughs> but I am a purposeful buyer. I only buy things knowing in my head where they're gonna go. I don't buy things just to buy things that I like, or I would have so many things it would be ridiculous. But I did buy these because I did have somewhere where I wanted them to go. And I wanted to bring a few items home from there to just kind of commemorate our trip to Magnolia Market. Okay, and then the last thing I bought was this adorable little wicker plant stand. And I believe that this was, I have already taken the tag off of this one, but I believe, I went and I looked at my receipt, so before tax, I wanna say this was $42. They had one that was 34 and it was smaller. This was the medium one, and I believe this was 42. And so, the good news is, is that if you are in the military, they do give a 10% military discount, so I did get 10% off. So that was good. <laughs> that helped a little. <laughs> so I love being able to show you guys what I bought because I've been dying to know like, well, what is different between what you get down there and what you get at Target? And so my honest review would be not a lot. I personally think it was a lot of fun to go. I really enjoyed going. My favorite thing wasn't even from them, but it was the sweet tea that they sell there on the grounds. They have food trucks and all kinds of things like that. Loved the sweet tea, thought these were so adorable. Um, it was $9 for this and you got to keep the cup with the lid and the straw and it says sweet tea on it. It was just super cute. So this was my favorite thing I got out of all that money that I spent. <laughs> In my opinion, no, I don't feel like it's worth the money if you live far. I also feel like you can get better deals on her items. If you're a huge fan and you love her items, I really feel like you can get a better deal purchasing through Target. Um, yes, it's not the exact same stuff, but it, it does have the same style, the same quality. And so if you don't wanna spend all the money to travel there 
for the experience, then I recommend that you don't. That being said, I'm definitely not saying anything negative because we had a blast and I'm really glad that I went. So if you're just like a die-hard Magnolia fan, then I, by all means, definitely go. But be in for a little bit of sticker shock um, and just keep that in mind. And also if you do say you fly down there, keep in mind how you're gonna get items home if you purchase them and that type of thing. If you do go with it in your mind to buy items, which why would you go there if you weren't gonna buy anything? I get, cause you can see everything they have online. So I think you're going for the experience and to get some things, I think. But uh, most likely I would drive to get there unless you have a great way to get stuff home. So. I hope this helped you out. I really just wanted to give an honest review, show you the items that I purchased, and then leave it to you to decide what your budget is. Because my budget might not be your budget, and vice versa. And so that would be totally up to you. And, and $52 for this, you're like, yeah, wow, that's a great deal. And so there you go, more power to you. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.